Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Max, and I'm here to talk to you about a very special method of therapy that I've developed. With us today is the very first patient I've treated with this method, Moti Brecher. Hello, Moti. Hi. How are you? Well, Max, thanks to you and PATH, which is the puppet-assisted therapy method that you've developed, I can say I'm doing fine. That's great to hear, Moti. Moti, we'd like to hear a little bit about the unique journey you took with puppets. Well, Max, I'm a performer artist. So for me, the stage has always been the natural place to deal with my everyday life difficulties and fears. From a very early stage in my career, I started using puppets. I don't really know why. It kind of came intuitively for me. Maybe it has to do with the fact that I played with toys up to a relatively old age. Which age was that, Moti? I think uh, 15 years old. Oh, that's not so old. You know, I still play with puppets myself. Do you? Yes. I have this amazing set of Barbie dolls that I just adore. It's called Barbie Clinic. It's got a little Barbie treatment sofa and everything. It's just great. <coughs> but enough about me. Let's talk about you. Thank you. What I found interesting was taking materials and characters from my own personal life and acting them out on stage. In this way, I would have a puppet for my ex-girlfriend, my friends, my families, etc. This was not always easy, because people that were related to my life didn't always like to see themselves represented by puppets on stage. Even less than that, they liked seeing situations that we shared intimately displayed in front of a live audience. But I just couldn't resist the temptation of using material from my own personal life. The urge for exposures was so strong for me that I even performed naked for a while with the puppets. And that was kind of satisfying for me for a while. I bet it was satisfying for the puppets. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But there was a problem. You see, in the end of every show, after the show was over, I would experience a very strong anti-climax, a feeling of depression and emptiness. Well, that's very easy to explain, Moti. You see, because of the nature of exposure of your show, the more exposed you were, the more vulnerable you became. In general, Moti, the higher you go, the lower you fall. It's the same as in drugs. I should know because I tried a lot of drugs back in the 60s. <clears throat> For research reasons, of course. Yes, continue. Anyway, these depressions made me feel really bad. And my friends suggested that maybe I should go and see a therapist. But because I was so used to analyze and process everything in my life on stage, I decided that my therapy should also go on stage. That's when I build you, Max. Me? Yes, my puppet psychologist. You see, in every show, in the end of the show, I would tell the crowd that the show was over, but I'm about to experience a very strong anti-climax. So I'm going to have a psychological session with my therapist. Anybody who wanted to stay was invited to. Most people stayed. And the funny thing was that it seemed that people were enjoying the therapy more than they enjoyed the show itself. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Gradually, the therapy took over the show until eventually the therapy became the show. Each show was actually a psychological session that Max was giving me in front of a live audience. Each show was different than the last one and regarded events that happened in my own life. The show was a great success. And within a year, I managed to establish my career as a performer, and I even managed to maintain a romantic relationship with a girl, which I haven't succeeded up until the treatment. You see, the treatment was actually working. And within a year, me and Max had nothing to talk about anymore. I was fine. So we decided to end the treatment. Well, you decided. I was strongly against it. I decided to end the treatment. And I thought that by doing that, Max would disappear. Well, often the patient thinks that when the treatment is over, the therapist disappears. They think we exist only for them. But he didn't disappear. Didn't I? No. Max took the method that we developed of treatment in front of a live audience, and he started treating people on his own. He opened a love clinic in the center of Tel Aviv that dealt with people with problems in their love lives. 
in front of a live audience. Well, as you can imagine, there are quite a lot of people in Tel Aviv with problems in their love lives. The show was a great success. Afterwards, he opened the dance clinic in Jerusalem that dealt with choreographers and dancers. Again, in front of a live audience. Again, a great success. Max was a hit. But for me, this was uh, kind of scary. What were you afraid of, Moti? Well, I, I started to feel that I'm losing control over you. I had no idea what, what you're going to do next. In fact, I have no idea what you're going to do next now. Well, Moti, the fear of losing control is quite understandable. Most people are afraid to lose control. You see, it's like falling in love in a way. Most people don't even want to fall in love because they're afraid of losing control. But if they don't lose control, they won't fall in love. And what's true for love, Moti, and everybody, is definitely true for therapy. See, you look at me and you see a puppet. That is because you want to stay in control. Only by letting yourselves lose control and fly with your imaginations can you really open up, learn about yourselves, and evolve. And that, I think, is an idea worth spreading. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can I ask a question? Yes, please um, do. Max, not you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, Moti. If you don't mind. I don't mind. If I would like I don't to mind as well. He doesn't mind. If I would like to set a meeting with you, can you help me with something else besides my love life? Well, usually I do treat people with problems in their love lives, but since a very beautiful girl like you probably doesn't have any problems with their love life, I'm willing to make an exception. Bye. <laughs> Bye.